Hello everyone, David from goldstartool.com. Another quick video. So we did, uh, we're gonna take this also to an ultimate test. Console 206 RB-5. Walking food machine. Uh, triple feed, meaning also it's like 1541 that we did the test yesterday. So, so far I thought we did an 1181. This is the results of 1181. Uh, showing four layers. We did 1541, five layers. We had a little bit of problem with breaking the thread, but I'm sure it was only the thread, not the machine. But I thought it wouldn't be fair to console people since we sell a lot of their products. Uh, so they would want me also to a video, do a video on the sewing machine too. So I'm gonna do the same test that I did on the uh, 1181 and 1541. I'm gonna do it on the uh, 206RB, same type of thread, uh, T105, everything is the same. Uh, let's see what happens. So um, this is the, I mean, regular, not even a, a problem. See that? Not gonna be any problem. See, going. No problem showing this thickness. It's about 12 layers of uh, denim jeans, okay? If you remember, I showed you yesterday the mechanism of the sewing, you see? both the needle and the feed dog, uh, and the inside feet are moving, like 1541. So it's much more powerful. The only difference between these and the uh, uh, 1541 would be that 1541, you get the, um, you have oil inside the head. Uh, with this one, is nothing. You just drop a couple of oils here and there, that's it. If you look inside, it's an, not an oil pan and you don't put oil inside. There are like some places like here, 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 where they are marked red. You just put drop of oil. Um, okay, so now we're gonna take this to an ultimate test. Again, these are, a lot of people are, uh, Using this, I have to take this up and this here. And okay, a lot of people use this for um, trucking companies. You know, uh, up. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just slow it down the same way that I did any other. This is one layer and no problem, obviously. Um, and if you remember with the 1181, we had problem with three layers going under the feet, but 1541, we could have gone even up to six or seven of them. The same thing with this one, you see? You see gonna be having a little bit of problem going over maybe three or four. The That's why a lot of people, when they call in, they wanna make sure how much you could raise the feet on this one, right? Um, this is one of the questions that everybody asks us. How much? So, you see this? These are brushless motor, and it's 750 watts. Anybody wants to know. So, no problem showing two layers. Go reverse. Uh, console people should be very proud of this. I always, see? So that's why a lot of people want to crank it when they want to start. See, when it's getting really heavy, a lot of people crank it, see? And it will work again. We broke the thread again. So um, breaking the thread is because the thread is not that strong. 
had nothing to do with the machine. So again, I'm gonna go ahead and change this thread with 270 that I have. All right. Um, we just wanna be fair. I mean, when we're doing this show, I mean, we this, do with these videos and we do the, uh, um, we, comp we do the comparison. I wanna make sure that I'm fair. Uh, we're not taking anybody's They always say that, do not take the thread out. Although sometimes like this one, it won't go through. In, out, in and out, Jasmine, right? Mm -hmm. There is no reason for a sewing machine not to uh, work when you get them. And I've always been telling you, it's the if you don't, if you have a problem with the sewing or breaking thread, you will not doing it right. And uh, again, use silicone spray. If you have problem, your thread going through. Use silicone spray. All right. Raise this up. I keep cutting thread and people don't like it. They leave me comments that why do I cut so much thread? Just that the tip of the thread um, frays. Don't tell me that. Where is my tweezers? What did you do with them? Um, you know what you do, Jasmine? The threader. I you got have it. the threader. I got it, I got it, I got it. So I changed it to T70, nylon, not bonded t70 nylon thread not bonded i'm going to show again no problem cutting the thread no not cutting the thread probably i'm out of the thread I am probably out of the thread. And yes. So if you give me, if you allow me, I have to, that is not the best way to take the thread out. But yes, I'm out of the thread. That's why I didn't was cutting the thread at the end. Um, while you're showing people around, like this machine, and right there is the double needle of the same machine, I'm gonna go get my bobbin thread and come back. All right, Jasmine. We're back. We are back. So here, I got more thread. Inside, out, in. I'm gonna put it inside. Again, these videos are not planned. I just come in and I, um, 
We wing it. We what? We wing it. We wing it. We wing it. Here you go. So I change the So we'll add three, right? Mm -hmm. We did the three, right? Yes. With the fabric, bottom top, T70 thread. I'm gonna go with, see, getting four in there is a little bit tricky. Uh, no problem. Jasmine. Doing great. You see, when it goes like this, just go ahead and. All right, let's try five layers. I, I think it's gonna be tricky now doing that, but. Yeah. Four, five will not go in there. Just like 1181. So as you see, we did this with T70. We have T105 thread. Uh, it's still a great machine. As I always said, 206 RB is a very good machine. If you have the, um, if you have the, uh, the proper needle and you have the and let me show them the back too you see the back is also perfect these are because all the stop and going that i did the perf this in the back it's perfect the front is perfect 206 rb-5 uh, i'm going to try to do 0303 d4 next with uh, new tech we're going to keep this this is 1181 this is 1541 and this is um 206rb-5 thank you for watching david from goldstartool.com have a golden day